this project or the involvement of the project or, or the song uh, all stemmed from my involvement with the annual camp, the Sikh camp that takes place at the Khalsa Primary School. Um, and the theme happened to be Siva, which um, uh, literally means selfless service. And the idea was that um, I thought about writing a song or a poem, which I would then get the children to perform uh, on stage um, on the, the, the last day of the camp, which is a Thursday. Uh, so the, the song itself or the poem was, was primarily written um, for this camp and that was the, the end of it. And then uh, there happened to be a, a parent, uh, namely Sanjay, who, um, who was at the camp, who saw the performance of the, um, the song by the children and um, approached me after the, um, the performance and asked me a simple question, um, what do you plan to do with this, with this song? What it is is my daughter comes to a Punjabi school here on a Sunday and not this year but last year she took part in the uh, summer camp um, and I used to just do the drop off and pick up and my mum would come in with my daughter Gia and spend the day with her um, and I think it was towards, I believe it was the last day of the camp um, I came a little bit early um, to collect my daughter and uh, the song was going on in the background and I, as I was in the prayer room um, I heard it and um, my, I asked my mum um, who runs the camp and so forth and she pointed out Nilmul to me. So um, I went and said hello and approached Nilmul and um, thanked him for obviously you know, letting my daughter come to the camp and saying how much of a good time she had had because I didn't realise that my daughter would have enjoyed the camp as much as she did um, and she thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and then I mentioned to him about the song playing in the background and I asked where would I be able to buy or get a copy of the song. And, and that's where uh, the idea of uh, having an official recording of the song, an audio, and, and uh, a video came about. The pants, no people, there are no foes, we are all equal. The whole, the whole project of the recording, the song, it's all about the children, it's not about me, it's not about Sanjay, but for me, I, were, I believe that God works in, in uh, weird and wonderful ways, and Sanjay to be there to watch the, uh, the, the performance, to then approach me, and to give us this indicator, and then to financially back this project, was, was a very, very big thing, a very, um, a very bold and positive move from his side. The music, the actual music of it is so catchy. If we take out the lyrics for a minute, um, when I first heard the song playing in the Kirsten Hall, um, it was the music that sort of like made my head turn and think, ooh, what's this? The, the music of the video was put together by um, a young Sikh uh, by the name of Harveer Singh, and, uh, or Harveer Singh in Punjabi. He, uh, he's, he's aspiring to be a, a music director in the Punjabi music field and um, he's um, making very good progress. But when I, was, uh, when I approached him about this, he put the music together the, the night before, at midnight we started, the night before the children were going to perform at the actual uh, the Khalsa Primary School. So the night before I got in touch with him and said, look, I need some music and um, he says, what do you have in mind? I said, this is what I'm planning to do. So I went to his house, got to his house at 12 o'clock midnight, and we finished the recording. He put together the, this, um, the music background, the music, music score to the song within two hours. It was two o'clock in the morning of the day the children were gonna perform that we actually got this uh, music file downloaded onto a, a, a CD. And uh, this is what um, a lot of parents and a lot of children and a lot of people, other people who have listened to the uh, recording, that's what they've actually found appealing as well, the beat. It's, it's basically, it, it's a song about seva, it's a song about giving, it's uh, something 
as I understand it, very fundamental to to the whole Sikh uh, way of life, Sikh, uh, Sikh principles of the faith. Uh, as I got to write the poem, I thought about um, all the different aspects of uh, selfless service, the fact that it has a universal appeal. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean to the common man? It's about doing something to help others. Um, I've learned that Seva isn't just um, serving people and spell, uh, loving them as well. Seva, although the word is quite simply described as selfless service, but I think it has a very, very wide meaning. It could be done in so many different forms and the song talks about all the different forms. Seva is to share and help. Not to be like selfish and um, be like caring to everyone. Uh, Seva would mean to me about freedom. Seva is like when you clean and do um, lots of good stuff. To do things because they f know they're right, rather than to do things because of the reward or the personal gain that they will get from it. Um, basically for me and personally it just means helping your fellow man. So you know, do a good deed for the day and that type of thing. And then uh, it's up to the individual how far they want to take that. The song, as, you, as you're aware, uh, uh, was called uh, Seva Kariye. Seva Kariye means let's do or let's perform selfless service. So the, the, the first uh, two lines were in Punjabi. Seva nu lagda meva chal seva kariye Vahiguru vahiguru boliye kise to na dariye Which means, and I'll try and uh, translate it word for word, Seva nu lagda meva means by performing seva, by performing selfless service, you'll get rewards uh, similar to um, something that's very sweet to the mouth or sweet to taste. Uh, so the saying is, um, by doing selfless service, you will get sweet rewards. Let's do seva. Jal seva kariya means, well, come on, then what are we waiting for? Let's do seva. And then vahiguru vahiguru boliye kise to na dariye. Vahiguru vahiguru boliye means, Let's forever, let's always remember the Lord Almighty in our minds. Let's always contemplate on the Lord Almighty. And Kisetu Nadariya means let's, ne ne let's never be afraid of anybody else. I like the, when they sing, Seva is to love God's creation, to nurture, preserve and looking after the nation. It's, it's a really good line for me because my nation is really important and God's creation is the earth and we live on this um, earth. So you have to really look after it. I quite like don't look for a thank you, don't look for no money. When done from the heart, you'll take sugar and honey because it's my line and I like sugar and honey. Don't look for a thank you, don't look for no money. When done from the heart, you'll take sugar and honey. Whilst writing the song, I made reference to two particular individuals, Pai uh, Kanaya and Pagat Puran who um, came into the Sikh faith uh, at various stages in terms of um, the time period. Like he, he treated all the people on the battlefield equally. He gave water to all of them. At Bhagatpuran, although he was so poor, he was so hard working and he did his best to feed all the poor people. And there was like millions of poor people coming to his house. And he did his Take best to feed them all. I think we've learned a lot from this project. Um, the children in particular, if we think about this project purely from uh, the point of view from the child, I think they've learned a lot. It taught me that um, server can mean um, helping in different ways. I've learned a lot like about Seva and then I, now I've got more like knowledge about Seva and like, now I can like write down about it, like write like a whole page about it. I've learned how like real famous singers actually uh, perform their songs and how they record it. They go to the recording studio um, and they have lots of fun as well. First of all, I gained confidence. I was shy at the beginning, but when I went on the stage at the summer miller, when I had uh, actually went on the stage, I was getting a bit scared, 
But when I looked at all my friends down there who were watching me, I felt a bit happy. And then that's how I gained confidence. It wasn't easy. Um, and there was times where I thought to myself, what am I actually doing? And it was taking up a lot of time. Uh, it was taking up time um, for a lot of people involved with the project. But no one gave up. Everyone still felt that the end result was worth um, fighting for. I remember the time when we uh, actually got the songs and uh, I was practicing with him every day. And the more I heard this song, the more it makes me feel proud to be part of this project. I want to do things right here, not because of my credibility or my CV, but because I want to get it right for these children, these parents, this community. So, so I suppose to an extent, a limited extent, I can see that it is, um, it, it, it's affected my own way of life. Please do remember the song we sing in our Guru's presence, the King of Kings. Um, for me, there's a lot of thank yous that need to be said as well, um, having reached this far. First and foremost, to, to the Lord Almighty, because I believe that this has happened for a particular reason. But then if we look at individuals, we're looking at um, Sanjay for backing this project financially. Uh, and for the fact that he had, he had a lot of faith and belief in me, in you, in the children. Um, and then uh, I'd like to thank uh, the, the trust of the Khalsa Primary School. Um, that's the venue that we've been using for a lot of our recordings. Uh, a lot of times that you've you've come there with your with your crew, with your gear. Uh, so I'd like to thank the the school, the head teacher, uh, for making available to us their premises and always welcoming us to, welcoming welcoming us to the school uh, to use their premises for the project. To thank the parents uh, because I think without their support this project wouldn't have happened. They've had to drop their children off, pick their children up on various occasions. I even remember on an occasion where uh, we did everything, but I think we didn't get the recording right, so we had to do the whole thing all over again. Um, they've always accommodated uh, every crew request that we've actually made. And ultimately, we've got to thank the children uh, for being brave enough um, to, to take the step to firstly get involved in the, um, the recording or the, the initial performance um, at the school because to do that in front of almost two, two, 250 children is what they performed in front of. That takes a lot of courage as well. Right.